Well, look who finally decided to show up. You're half an hour late. Care to explain yourself? Oh. Your class got held back? Oh, sorry. Um, well, I'm glad you came here as soon as you could. Uh, there's something I need to talk to you about. But now that I look around and see how crowded this place is, maybe we should go somewhere else? What? No. No, I'm not breaking up with you. It's just... What I need to tell you isn't something I feel comfortable with sharing in front of all these people. You know? <sighs> Thanks. Um. Oh. Here. There's an empty classroom just around the corner. No one's going to be using it for a couple hours. I'll explain everything when we get there. Just... For now, just try to keep an open mind, okay? And know that I'm not breaking up with you. You have nothing to be afraid of. Okay. So, you remember how last week we had the day off training and everyone else had gone into town to do stuff, hang out, buy things, and we were left alone? And, uh, you remember what we did with our time to ourselves? Uh, yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to talk about. Oh my god, I said you didn't have anything to worry about. You giving me something wasn't even close to what I need to talk to you about. No. No, I'm fine. Perfectly healthy. The thing is... We didn't use protection. And... Uh, when I realized this, I went to the infirmary to get checked for any diseases or anything, and, uh, you knocked me up. You got me pregnant. And, uh, I really don't know what to do. Yes, I'm being completely serious. Why are you looking at me like that? And why aren't you saying anything? <laughs> why are you... Why are you holding me so tightly? You never hold me like this. You're... you're happy about this? I thought you'd be mad. Or afraid or something. I mean... We still have a year of training left, and now... This happens. Uh... 
I'm, I'm really glad you're so happy about it. It makes it a bit easier, you know? Now, hang on, let go of me for a second. This means that we need to seriously talk about the futures that we envision. I'll be honest, I, I never imagined myself getting pregnant at this age. And I'm sure you never thought that you'd end up causing this. So, we really need to think about what we want. I know you want to join the Survey Corps, and that's perfectly fine. I don't expect you to abandon your plans just because of this. But I will say one thing. Odds are... I'll have to leave. Shadis will find out about this, and will probably say that I'm not fit for training. That said, when I do get sent away, I don't want to break things off with you. Not solely because of that. However, I also don't want to hold you back from anything here. So, if you think that we're better apart, I'll respect your decision. Always very determined, huh? Alright. We'll give it a shot. But then... There's the issue of where you want to go when you graduate. The Survey Corps is... very dangerous. And that's why so few people join. I know you want to help humanity. I understand that things have happened in your life to lead you to this decision. And that you're not going to change your mind all that easily. But... Sometimes the past is better left in the past. And I want you to think. Think about the future of our child. I know that they won't be able to see you often. But I'd rather not have to conceive of a world where I have to sit our child down and tell them that they'll never see you again. No. No, I'm not saying that you shouldn't join the Survey Corps. If that's where you think you belong, go for it. What I'm saying is, think about what you're capable of. If you know, with dead certainty, that you'll be able to survive in the Survey Corps, 
go for it. But if you can't, please, for the sake of our child, please, join the garrison, or even the military police if you're able, just somewhere where you'll be safe. Maybe somewhere where I can visit you and where you can see your baby. I know, I know I don't normally act this way, but uh, I'm never like this and even the slight hormonal change due to the early stages of my pregnancy, it is throwing me off completely. And now I'm getting all sappy and I just, I feel like I'm going to cry even though I never cry, and I don't even know what I'm crying about. Maybe it's the thought of losing you. Maybe it's the thought of raising a child on my own. I don't know what it is, but just, just ignore it. <laughs> I said ignore it, that doesn't mean hug me. an idiot. But I love you so much. I don't want to lose you. I don't want to raise our child alone. Please. Please, don't leave us alone. Promise. Promise you won't leave us alone.